coffee breakfast it kind of all melted together though the coffee I got it here the water somehow passed through security so I do when I'm traveling when it comes to uh, what's the what's the word like personal care like my toiletries I think that's how you say it <laughs> I never like understood how that word makes sense but whatever so I bring a soap with me and I put it in the slush uh, tent that I got a, a while ago I bring my tongue scraper with me my toothbrush obviously and then I use this face oil um, so I brought this with me this time because usually I don't bring it with me and then I really regret it So because I get I get dry skin from traveling and stuff and I already have dry skin And this is the shampoo I bring with me. It's a hundred milliliters. So it goes through security fine. It's from Oh, right. I've talked about them before a few months ago. I love their shampoos Again, hi YouTube. That's my video. Uh, <laughs> that's actually one of my favorite videos. I'll link it up here for you guys. I love color swatch. I'm probably gonna go back for more. And there's fruits too. To the next sessions. Sorry, my face is. Hi guys, let me grab my mic. Turn it on. 
So why am I here, number one? I'm here for a workshop for, with YouTube. Uh, so far I've been learning so much. I, ha I didn't eat much for lunch. Uh, there were like falafel wraps and like a lot of vegan options, don't get me wrong. I've got some sandwiches that I made that I thought I'm gonna eat like on the plane or like when I'm back or something, but I was so full that day. So I didn't eat much. These bags are reusable and compostable. And I've been reusing them a lot. Uh, they're really great, like they're very durable. I don't remember the name, it was like, I always forget the name of that store. It's in Australia, but they ship worldwide. So I usually just like wait until I get like a bunch of stuff from them at once. But yeah, they're, they're like a zero waste online store. So I'll put the link down below. I believe they ship internationally. So I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I have a tahina and uh, apricot jam on the other sandwich. So I'm gonna bring, make me some ginger tea and eat the sandwiches that I have. So I'm probably gonna eat both of them. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm still hungry. So I've got some dates here. And in this bag, I have some, I think it's like, I think it's for kids, but I use it. It's very, Genius and convenient. Sometimes I put sandwiches in here. Um, it's very easy to wash. I'm pretty sure it's out there on the internet. I got it from Amazon. I've got some walnuts and some nuts here, so I might have some of that too. Uh, oh, and by the way, for breakfast, like the day I decided to film while I'm traveling, the breakfast doesn't have as many op options as usual. So usually there is fuel, which is like fava beans, very traditional Arabian food typically for breakfast and it's so good like food is my favorite thing i can eat food every single day and usually there's hummus uh, or hummus and there's mtabbal which is basically um an eggplant pa uh, paste bread usually a lot of bread is vegan like bagels are usually vegan um baguettes are usually vegan pita breads are usually vegan and usually there's like asian options for breakfast that are vegan, like noodles and stuff like that, but I'm not very familiar with that, so I'm not gonna talk about that. There was baked beans, and baked beans in the Middle East are usually vegan. What else, what else, what else? Recently, most of the restaurants that I've been going to have vegan milk, which is amazing. Um, and more cereals are vegan. And that's it, I've talked so much, and talking drains me out sometimes. So, good night, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Fade away and pass her by. What could she do? What could she do?